And the title of their presentation is What Do Earthquakes Reveal About Alaska? Yay! Yay. Woo! <laughs> For so long, knowledge has been the privilege of the rich and the well connected. Our scholars, they speak only to themselves and not to the common man. The common man sees no use in knowledge. He does not know how to use that. Well, as an educated and well-connected man myself, I say knowledge is my providence and I will change that. I will change our way of learning. And our learning now will have the ultimate goal of the production of practical information. Knowledge that is for the use and the benefit of man and the relief of the human condition. In this year of 1620, it's a real exciting time to be alive, unless you're locked up in the Tower of London, that is. But our explorers are going all over the world, and they're learning so much more about what's out there. And we're starting to see what our lands look like, and we no, no longer think that we just live on one big mass of land. We know that we live on several masses, and they're all separated by bodies of water. So one day, as I was pondering these new maps that we're developing, I started to see a pattern there. Something occurred to me. This looked like a puzzle piece. I started to see pieces of the puzzle. Did these pieces once belong together? And how did they get apart? What was happening here? I really wonder, what's going on in the world now? All right, so we're going to review four types of plague boundaries. The first one is collisions, plague collide. The second one is subduction, the plague one plate goes under the other. And there's divergence, the plates move apart. And <laughs> transform, one plate slides past the other one. All right, so this is your opportunity. Everybody up. To review. We're going to use our hands as the plate. All right. Follow Bacon Man, yes. Bacon Man. All right. So the first one, the plates are going to collide. Collision. The next one is subduction. One plate is moving under the other. Divergent. Plates move apart and transform. One plate slides past the other. All right, thank you. Have a seat. Everybody see that? pair share um, you're the person sitting next to you and if you don't have somebody um, move so that you do or someone near you that would be fine partner one is going to be the partner that has the longest hair okay and partner one is going to share first partner two you're going to show listening so as I tell my students nothing in your hands make eye contact no noises okay so partner one, you're going to share your observations, and you only have 30 seconds. Share your observations about what you notice about this map. Okay? And partner one, begin now. Oh, okay, got it. Lots of colors, like a rainbow. Uh -huh. Different size dots. Yeah. And kind of like a kind of like a rainbow again, an upside down rainbow in different colors. There's lots of like, mostly concentrated off like that. Like in there all on top of one another. Smushed down to each other. And then partner one, you are done in three, two, one. Partner two, get ready to share. Partner one, you're going to show listening, so turn and face. 
partner too? <laughs> Can you tell what I do? <laughs> partner two, begin in three, two, one. Same thing, you're same thing. thing. It's your turn to share. What do you know? Go. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is a couple of colors. And they are well organized. And colors follow each other, like a little trend. Oh, you have blue, they have red, green, what does that mean? Oh, it's the death. Okay, so what does, what all the that represent? But there's something, obviously, the earthquake. And they, it seems like they have a different death, and it follows a pattern. And the dragon is different. Does anybody, does anybody have anything that they want to share? Any partners want to share what their partner had said was going on in the map? Have any volunteers to share? Okay. There are a lot of dots. Okay, what that? It's like you put a pot of painting and you slash, slash it on a mm -hmm. Anybody else? Like a rainbow. Okay. The next thing that you're going to, and this will take five seconds or less for your pair share. And I want you to think back to the four types of plate movement that we did, that we demonstrated. And Bacon Man over here is going to show you one more time. We have collision, plates are colliding, we have subduction, one plate moving under the other, we have divergent, plates moving apart, and we have transform, plates sliding past each other. So out of those four choices, partner one, would you turn to partner two and tell them which of those do you think is going on in our map here of Alaska? And why? And think and about why? like why do you think that? What what kind of clues can you tell from that map? So partner one, go. So subduction <laughs> would have been yeah. Why? Yeah, so they're, they're just floating up against each other, right? And then it's like, it's like a, a wave in different colors. It could be that. Mm -hmm. Could be that. Yeah. What about? It's hard to do. Yeah, it's hard to do. It's your opportunity to share what type of play movement you think you think is going on here and why. So partner one, show this me. Partner two, begin now. The dots are organized. I don't know if the kids say organized. I don't. Different steps, which means that there's something going on. Partner <laughs> 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 two, you are done in three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> and will anybody be willing to share what they thought, which bound, which boundary plate they thought this represented, and why, or what your partner said? Do anybody want to share? Well, it's funny because you have, you can feel like there is one place, whatever it, it, whatever Bacon Man is saying, but it's, there is a color in, 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 so there's the depth and the color, so we can say it's actually in one place, but then where everything else is blue, you may think something else is happening without knowing, being able to say what, what movement is happening. Okay. I guess my color impression without any of this other stuff we talked about in the workshop, is that it might be divergent because it seemed like the part the earthquakes are deep on the red and then they get shallower on the blue. So maybe that meant that the plates were moving apart that there were deep earthquakes and then they got too shallow. That was my, <laughs> that was my first guess. How about if I'm gonna add the for a moment. Why don't you Show me using your hands. You don't have to stand up, but show me what you think is happening along this area. Along um, this most colorful ridge there. And I saw some people earlier back there wanting to show me, but then others weren't so certain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> so happy.
having the the shallow the the shallow um, depth at the beginning, going to a little deeper, and then finally to the deepest, it shows that that it's actually curving down, going underneath that plate. So this is your North Atlantic plate and your Pacific plate that's actually diving down yeah. underneath because it's getting deeper on that. Subducting. Yep. Subducting and getting deeper. Can we ask questions? <laughs> <laughs> sure. You may ask questions. Would, if I have a student, would I think then, would I say that, oh, well, the blue dots mean that it's more shallow, so it might be a colliding place? I mean, can you make that conclusion based upon Like where there's, yeah. where there's. Or it's just blue, where it's that just maybe blue? it's just colliding? Yeah. We'd have to refer to our if you ask them to make a sketch, that might be a, a good way to resolve that. If they, they, I mean, whatever idea they have, see if they can sketch it out, see if they can make a drawing that explains there. And then I think when they try to do that, they're probably going to converge on, on what it is. Okay. We did have a discussion um, about the different types of collisions that may happen, um, different surfaces. Um, whether or not you have two continental the, plates or continental in the ocean, right, yes. or two oceans. So we had that prior knowledge. I have a question actually for the geologist. So on the right side, is that transformed because the plate's sliding and then it's subducting under the orange and red zone in here? So is it sliding in Shallow, shallow all earthquakes are usually, yeah. whenever you have an area where there are only shallow earthquakes, that's often a transformer. I, I don't know enough. I mean, I know that the, the plate is the mm -hmm. gray is kind so of curving up the way. There, so that could be. And, do we have a, and there's a change also the direction of convergence. Right. So that is also uh, so um, close to the Alaska Peninsula. The convergence is orthogonal to the North American plate, while on the western part of the Aleutian, it tends to uh, turn parallel. So that may also. Uh, so but by noticing that all there was nothing but blue dots on the yeah. right side, so that's that's important observation. There and then somebody but actually, but it shows something up. Something yeah. is uh, moving from east to west. And we have an expert visiting us in our class yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you could more or less answered it. But if, if you see a linear feature of shallow earthquakes, then then first and then is it likely to be convergence? And when you think about if you're if you're pounding two plates together. You think that that's going to all show up in a single line, or are you going to deform over a broad zone? Right. So broad zone, like, like the Himalayas, a very broad zone. So, or or maybe even back up and through here, you're seeing a broad zone. But if you're seeing a, a narrow zone, it could be di divergence, or it could be transform. Now, if you figure it out from this, if you, you're looking at this pattern and you see, okay, it's shallow to deep and it's curved. Well, that's a pretty good guess. That that's going to be subduction. So if this is subducting here. And then, and this is all one continent. Then what you think about what 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 must have have to happen along there? If this is sliding down there, and this is not moving, you end up having to have a, a, a transform boundary. So so this is like the well, it's, it's not quite San Andreas Fault is a nice simple one down in California. This there's also some thrusting going on there. It's not quite side to side. So there's some thrust, but a lot of this is transformed. And then you've got a lot of deformation going on here. So. As the subduction zone is going under, you're also also deforming. Which is why, of course, that's why you have a high mountain. You know, the, the mountain range is going through here. So that it's, it's that blue blob on the right that we were talking yesterday on the field trip, that that's not been completely resolved. What's going on there yet? Right. That's still yeah. yeah what's yeah, What's happening right here is still very much in active yes. research. Mm -hmm. But you also, as you probably have already talked about, there's a lot of terrain. Uh, older terrains have all been jammed into Alaska. I mean, everything from right. here to here. It's all it all came from somewhere else. So it's been it's been running into Alaska for a long time. The whole time. state's pretty much assembled from terrain. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So one thing we can tell is that this tends to be a very volatile area because of all of the action that's going on with the subduction of the plate. And we have a bonus question. No. Well, look at how much we've learned. And how did we learn all this? Well, I'll tell you. We learned it because of me. And I created the scientific method. And we asked questions. And we had hypotheses. And we found answers. And as I always said, knowledge is power. Now take this knowledge home with you and use it to its best purpose.